Hi, I'm Shaggy, and I like to do this hand thing. Look at that, my hands. Do you know what they say about big hands? Today, I will talk about not listening to YouTubers about vlogging. I don't know, I don't know when vlogging became such a international spot whereby you have to be so rigged out with like all kinds of equipment and like Oh, you gotta buy, you gotta buy the KC9 stack kit. So, first you need a 60D, then you need a Joby Gorilla Pod, then you need a Rode Video Mic Pro to put on top of your camera, then you need a Tamron 11 to 16mm. You need a GH5 with 4K RX 100. Because you know, when you make a vlog, it's all about the quality. You need all the quality in the universe to make a good vlog. This is Singapore, by the way. I don't know why <laughs> there's an ambulance at the back. This is not New York City, it's Singapore. I don't get it because like, no, it pisses me off. Every time there's a new camera, some guy out there <laughs> in the internet will make a video about how that camera is suitable for vlogging. Personally, I feel it's a bit ridiculous to spend one or two or three or four or five thousand dollars on a vlogging camera. You won't get the fucking money back. You know, if you really, really are bloody passionate about vlogging, you won't even be wasting your time about tech you know your focus will be on the actual work itself which is vlogging so for example if i'm someone who is starting out and i really have something strong to say you know what would i use i'll show you now i will use this thing that is always 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 in my pocket my phone okay you don't have to talk so much right now this iPhone can do 4K video. It can do slow-mo. It can do time-lapse all within the regular app. So I don't understand why anyone would want to spend extra money just to buy a vlogging camera. Let me tell you another reason why it's ridiculous. I'm going to ask you this. First question, how interesting is your life? Next question is, how much stuff do you want to carry to capture your interesting life? And number three question would be, would carrying so much equipment hinder you from having an interesting life? If the act of vlogging is gonna make things so difficult, why bother? You're gonna try like once or twice or three times and then you get sick of it because the camera gear is getting more and more ridiculous. What I can say is you just try and run around with that amount of equipment that covers your whole bag. Ah, and the other thing is all this equipment you gotta carry it with you all the time. I don't think anyone in the right mind wanna do that. I think yeah, if you're really, 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 really dying to vlog and you and you don't wanna spend much money on it, honestly, just get yourself one of these, which you already have. And if you wanna get um, better audio, I would recommend you to get the Rode Video Mic Me. I'll give a link in the description via Lazada. So if you're interested to get it, you can get yours now. Just take the iPhone and put a Rode Video Mic Me and you're good to go. Honestly, it doesn't fucking matter. Because to be honest, right, all this random equipment and things here and things there are just going to distract you from telling a good story. Lah. Don't be too distracted by all this technology talk again. I'm going to repeat this whole theme about all this technology bullshit. It doesn't matter. What matters is you. You matter the most in this picture. Don't get too bothered. Have fun. And all the people out there you see with all the fancy gear, the only reason why they have those fancy gear to vlog in the beginning is because either they're making a lot of money doing something or they already have this gear by already doing other things. Maybe they have their own studio. 
maybe they're videographers, maybe they're photographers, and along the way, they accumulate enough money to buy fancy cameras, and the fancy cameras are all that they have. Hence, they just go out and shoot with the fancy cameras, and because this, this is their job, they always carry the camera with them. So there's a lot of factors here, and if I were to get like some regular person, or like a student, or like some guy who wants to learn how to do this, Don't bother la. Enjoy yourself, you know, enjoy your life. You you want to have a good life. At the end of the day, whatever that you create will be viewed on phones. It's not going to be viewed on the cinema. Even if it ends up in the cinema, it's a goddamn vlog. How much would you expect out of one? And you know what people say, the best camera is the one that you can always have with you. Thanks for watching. Ironically, I say so much about not bothering about buying fancy cameras but if you are really insistent on buying a fancy camera you can buy one through the links down below and if you are want to support a coffee lover like me who likes to drink coffee through paypal that's good too then you can help me support my good friend wesley here at the back for his coffee as well thank you for watching my Thanks, little rant guys. and i'll see you next time bye bye Cheers. Cheers.